What's up guys? It's Kendra and Dustin and we are back with another episode of Little Red Memories. Previously, we went through a lot. <laughs> we we saw our grandmother. I don't even she doesn't deserve the title. If you're confused, go watch it so you can get on my level of disdain for that lady. It's not hatred, disdain. I feel like that's like a stronger that word. word. Yeah. yeah, yeah, disdain for her. And then we had to see Bonnie, which was like nice. It kind of, the end kind of gave me ending vibes. Like it felt like it was gonna end there, but like we have two more to do. It was nice, but it was also sad. But it was like a nice sad, you know? Cause it's like, <laughs> inner child healing <laughs> or something, you know? Yeah. Like inner child work. Have you ever just like seen that um. stuff? It, anyway, anyway. Yeah, so that was a roller coaster. We have two more. Don't know how bad that's gonna be, but I'm curious. I'm here for the drama, but I just hope it's not too sad. <laughs> So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Whether or not they'll lead to an ending, I don't know. But we have two more. Yeah. We have two more to get. So we'll have to see how, how this goes. Odd one. Boop. This one? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Who's next? Maya. Place Maya shards on the table. You place the shards on the table. Flashback! That's what she- It's weird to see her with a normal head. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, she's kind of cute! Okay. She doesn't have gray hair yet, though. The, well, gray gray. The little squigglies kind of look grayish. Like a, a little bit of like a rogue I'm not, You know, I'm, I'm in comparison to, to her now. picture right. on the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where she was basically white, right. almost yeah. haired. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember what voice I used. I like how it's question marks, because who knows who this mysterious person is? <laughs> I know, game. Don't play with me. They have the same outfit. Okay. <clears throat> well, also, it's called Maya Shard, so shouldn't this be Maya? Maya? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Based off of what we just saw, yes. Fish. Even if we're not supposed to put together everything That yet. incarnation <laughs> is Maya. Yeah. Even though, like I said, they're wearing the same outfit. Like, she never changed. But, I don't know. All right. I well, mean, you know. We can play along. <laughs> Who is this mysterious wolf? <laughs> I was telling you about that, you know, one thing where they were like, Oh, he did the murder because he changed clothes in the middle of the week for some reason. Oh. <laughs> I <I'm> don't <laughs> Way back when you had yeah. one outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the old time. <laughs> you had like, like two outfits, and, and that's you just it. <laughs> you know you watch them yeah. <laughs> every so often, and then one like church outfit. Yeah, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <clears throat> they must be around here somewhere. Who, who, Maya? Yes, just the fun. Oh, the mushrooms. Just the fungi I need for my experiment. She's out mushroom hunting. Uh, ugh, no, not this one either. Is there someone else here? Wait, was that supposed to be a different voice? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Because of the question marks, I wasn't sure, but I did see there was a lack of a sprite. There was no picture. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. I'm not sure if it's a blur or girl yet. Um, is there someone else here? Barely anyone comes to this part of the woods. I better check it out, just in case. <gasps> Who are you? <laughs> it looks like a cow? Maybe a deer? I'm guessing deer. Ears are giving me deer vibes. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, very cute. Love the pink hair. Oh, what kind of a voice would a deer have? What does Bambi's mom sound like? Bambi? Isn't that what she sounds like? I don't know. I haven't seen Bambi. I haven't ever. either. I think I watched it once and then I was like, this is too sad. <laughs> Never again. Um, 
It's gotta be here somewhere. I can feel it. I've never seen her around here before. Excuse me, miss. Are you looking for something? Do you need any help? It's you! Hello, yes! I do need some help if it, it wouldn't be a bother. Not at all. What's your name? Oh yeah, she's in here. <laughs> My name is Doe. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is that two on the nose? What? Well. Oh my gosh, are they gonna eat her? No. Oh, wait, what did you think? <laughs> well, do you remember in Maya's room? No. Maybe. What? No. No, well, we'll see. What? <laughs> it no! Was never comes out. <laughs> I hate it when you do that. <clears throat> well, we met a few deer in Maya's room. Did we? I don't remember this. Deer deer? Or deer people? Deer heads. We did! Ooh, ooh. So am I right? Are they gonna eat her? Or at least, you know, like kill her or something? Oh. Uh, I think I read this. My name is Stuart, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Maya. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Miss Doe. Now, what is it you're looking for? I'm looking for a flower. <laughs> well, you've certainly come to the right place. Any particular flower in mind? Well, I don't exactly know what it's called. It's white with lots and lots of petals. A chrysanthemum, perhaps? Wait, is that right? Carnation! Yes. A carnation, perhaps? <laughs> I don't know. We always I don't yeah, know. We always flip flop. One of us started it, yeah. and then since then, both of us have Probably kept doing it. Probably not me. <laughs> uh, carnation. Actually, I think it was me who did carnation. it first. But I don't remember. Carnation. <laughs> What's my favorite flower? Carnation. Okay. I saw it in a dream. You see, I know that must sound silly, though. Well, that could be a lot of different flowers. That description could fit a... Oh, a scabosis? Scabosis? Scabosa. Scabiosa. Scabiosa? But those aren't in season at the moment. A hydrangea could also be what you're speaking of, but those don't grow in this area. Are hydrangeas white? I think some can be. I've only seen blue, pink, and purple. Hmm. Hmm. You couldn't be looking for a carnation, could you? Those are fairly common white flowers that grow not too far from here. Yes, yes! A carnation! A white carnation! That's what I've been looking for! Do you know where I could find one? And there's a flower field full of them not too far from here. I'd be delighted to show you, Misto. Here, follow me. Here we are. Beautiful. Dianthus. Uh, Cariophilus. As far as the eye can see. Okay, I know whose freaking textbook thing, whatever it was that we found is. The botany? Yes. Yeah. This nerd right here. <laughs> we knew it was. Uh, did we? Yeah. Probably. It was in a box labeled Maya's school things. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a carnation. We can just call it a carnation. It's the scientific... <laughs> Cara yo Phileus. Nailed it. Phileus. It's probably... Phileus. Aw, oh, look! Maya's blushing! That's kind of cute. I'm guessing this is the person who was taken I from Maya. I think they like each other. <laughs> uh, yes! The feeling, it's getting closer, but which one? What does that mean? She's looking through each flower intensely. Oh, is she trapped in the... Oh, how strange. And yet, wait, does she have magic? Didn't she say her friend yes. like made magic? So she, maybe she is some kind of magical thing. Well, I'm wondering, is she trapped in the parallel? Uh, maybe. 
as strange, and yet her movements feel so graceful. The way she gently touches each petal. Okay, look at you blush. Look at it. Oh, somebody has a crush. How embarrassing. <laughs> um, the way she feels the corners of each leaf. She really must be looking for the perfect flower, I suppose. Also, I mean, we know that Maya's botanists, and so it's like... I like flowers, you like flowers, we can like flowers together. <laughs> <laughs> here! Here it is. Oh wait, it's here! I found it! Cute. Isn't she beautiful? This will be perfect. Yes, indeed. Although I am curious, what made you pick this flower among all the rest? Oh, well, I need a flower that had the perfect energy for a project I'm working on. A project? I see. And you said you saw this flower in a dream. What sort of project do you need it for? Ah, you'll only think I'm crazy if I tell you. Hopefully this flower will last a long enough- wait, will last long enough. Do you need it to last a long time? Yes, as long as possible. Perhaps I could be of assistance once more to you, Miss Doe. You see, at the time I was furthering my studies on flora and fungi. I had already conducted many experiments on different flowers in an attempt to lengthen their lifespan. I should have asked more questions in the start as to what her project was, but in my mind, I only saw benefits for us both. Maya! Maya! It's om is it almost ready? Ah, Doe, letting yourself in as always. You must have patience, dear. Haha, <laughs> cause she's a dear. <laughs> I know, I guess I was just excited. You said you could finish it today, right? If not, I can wait more. No, no, no need to worry. I'm almost done. Just a few more seconds and... Done! This flower should last much, much longer than you could ever expect. Here you go, Doe. Uh, this will be perfect for my project. Thank you so, so much, Maya. <laughs> I'm glad to be of service. Oh, I am curious. What is the project you need this for about? Promise not to think I'm crazy? I promise. Do you believe in parallel worlds, Maya? Parallel worlds? Well, I think they exist. A world just like this one? but with more magic than you could even believe. Truth be told, I knew I needed this specific flower because I saw it in a vision. A vision that also had you in it. I, I know it sounds completely crazy, magic visions and all that, but I swear I'm telling the truth. There really is another world out there and your house shares the same energy as it. No, uh, slow down, please. Magic? Visions? Energy? You're springing a lot on me all at once, though. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I just... I, um... I've never told anyone about my visions before. I'm not even really sure where to start. But... You believe me, don't you? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you probably think I'm totally insane now. I ruined everything. Oh, wait. No! I believe you. There's no need to worry. I... Just... Why don't you try to explain it again, but from the top? Uh, okay! Everything was... Wait, everything there was to know about the parallel, she knew about it well in advance. All except one thing. Nevertheless, she became infatuated with the idea of visiting this world. So her project was an attempt to use a mix of her magic and my science to create a portal of sorts. I thought it was dangerous. I thought it wouldn't work. But the experiment that 
excitement. Had, wait. Oh, thank you. The excitement that shone through her eyes when she spoke of it. I couldn't say no to her. Her happiness was contagious. It was also quite addictive. Does she have goggles on? Looks like it. <laughs> well, eventually we did manage to create the portal. It took a long, long time. I was honestly impressed with both of us. We made a really good team, Doe and I. I never wanted to part with her. I would give anything to spend the rest of my life with such a beautiful angel. I knew it! <laughs> At first, everything was perfect. Wherever she went in the parallel, I followed. She wanted to turn it into a safe world for those who had nowhere else to turn to. But... Then we saw the true nature of this world. The true nature of the parallel. The parallel it started speaking to us, asking us if we wanted to play one of its games. A game of sacrifice. One room after another, one of us had to give up something important for us to progress forward. Some of the things we had to give up are small, like personal possessions. Other times, the parallel wanted to take our happiest memories away. And then, we were separated in the final room. One final sacrifice had to be made. Ah, oh, what is up with this place? This place sucks! It feeds on tragedy. Uh, <sighs> they were so cute together. Look, it's a heart. I know. And it's broken down the middle. <laughs> Come now, Joe. You can't be serious. Sacrificing your life? That's absurd. There's no. There has to be another way out of this room. No, Maya. You don't understand. I... I think this puzzle was made just for me. What? What on earth are you talking about? Hey, no. We've always been able to figure out another way out whenever we ran into problems before, right? There's no need to act so rashly. My whole life, I've been nothing but selfish, using my abilities and my visions to see only what would be the best outcome for myself. Even now, I used your knowledge and skills just to try to accomplish a stupid dream that would never have come true in the first place. And now you are in danger, and it's all my fault. Hey, Doe, everything will be okay. I'm here. We're safe. It's, let's just try to figure this out rationally, and... I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything, but... This is the only way I can make things right. It was a pleasure to meet you, Maya. May we meet again in another lifetime. Doe! Wait, I... Do! Wonder, did she just get squished? Mm. Dang. Do had sacrificed herself to save me. I couldn't believe she was actually gone. Although I realized I was in a whole new world. Do told me this world held more magic. Oh, I don't like the process. I studied this world for months, fighting through each room, desperately trying to find a way to bring Doe back. The longer I spent in this world, the more deformed my physical appearance became. My own grief consumed me, both inside and out. However, I couldn't care less. Doe didn't deserve what happened to her. I didn't care what happened to me. All I wanted was to bring her back. With Doe gone, I even continued on her dream of trying to make it... Wait, trying to make the people here feel as safe as possible. <gasps> it's under. Excuse me, miss. Where exactly am I now? You're in the parallel, my dear. A place in between life and death itself. Ah, I... I see. The parallel, you say? 
This might be a weird question, but have you seen a woman named Maya Wolf around here? Nope. She disappeared lately, and some of her last funeral writings talked about this parallel. Out of all the people to step foot in here, I never expected to see my nephew, Hunter. God, when my family learned what I've become, I would just disappoint everyone. Or even worse, it could put Hunter in danger, too. No. I have not. I'm terribly sorry. Perhaps she left through the front doors before I could meet her? Ah, I see. Oh, how rude of me. I nearly forgot to introduce myself. My name is Hunter. Uh, what may I call you, miss? You may call me Carnation. Oh, so Hunter doesn't know it's his aunt? No. And oh. what she just set up would also disincline him from going through the front doors because his aunt went through the front doors and, and never, never came back. And never saw her again. Oh, the plot thickens. I was hoping for a love triangle, but that's okay. We didn't get it. This place still sucks, though. Just saying. The love! I wanted the love! <laughs> they were so cute together! Anyway. Um, Miss Carnation, Maya, and Hunter. Wow, that was a lot. I feel like that was a more appropriate reaction to the other ones. That that, that one was sad. That one was sad. To be fair, she lived through the other ones. I guess that's true. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. You're right. <laughs> it wasn't new to her. <laughs> So now all we have left is Hunter. Yeah. Alright, that is the end for today's episode. I feel like we didn't necessarily learn a lot. Like, we already knew that Carnation was Maya, a.k.a. Hunter's aunt. Put that together so that wasn't a surprise. Uh, we knew that there was going to be somebody that Maya was in love with. Didn't know it was going to be a deer, but now that makes sense about the walls. That's really messed up, actually. Well, so the other thing I was thinking about is, do you remember the one female deer in the... What did it say? The... Yeah. It was growing antlers, but it didn't wasn't supposed to. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, I wonder if... Do you Do think that's Doe? Was Doe supposed to be uh, trans or something? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. But, I mean, that, uh, like, yeah, who wasn't, knows? It wasn't I mean, necessarily yeah, yeah. related to the story. Yeah. That's why I, I was kind of hoping that we would be able to save Doe and Carnation. I mean, we might. Maybe. We, we don't know what will happen. Yeah. Know? I mean, Carnation seems to think that there is a way of getting Doe back. Yeah. I'm Though, curious. What? Uh, you, you, I was just going to say, I'm curious to know how everyone else got here. So, what were you going to say? Uh,. The idea that at the end there where Maya was like, it's dangerous for Hunter to know where I am. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Like, she thinks a parallel will hunt him? No. That's she how I She replied after, because it was, he would go back and tell the family. Oh. They would say I'm a disappointment or worse, mm. and that would be dangerous for Hunter. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, I guess, in Hunter's flashback. I feel like Hunter's flashback is really going to give a nice picture as to, like, A, why he's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and then, of course, what's up with Maya and why is she so, like... My family hates me, da-da-da. I mean, they give off stuck-up, like, rich people vibes, you know? From the mm. portraits. The dad kind of gave off, like, a stuck-up... Like, oh, the family, you're an embarrassment. They're studying flowers instead of business. <laughs> you know, kind of a vibe. But... <laughs> business. <laughs> but, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna. I'm very interested to see where this goes. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this because I, I know. I told you the one thing that I thought I of that one time about the the love letters. No. In Hunter's room. No. Where we were tied up. What did we think they were? Well, I had an idea when I was editing that episode, but then I. Oh yeah, yeah. What is <laughs> it? Well, why would Hunter have the obsessive love letters? I thought they were for me. 
Yes, but why would he have them instead of have sent him? Ah. Uh, what if they're from me? Bonnie. Because it's also the only one that would her I... nation never was like, oh, you s sweet child, this is not normal. Huh. The love letters were the only ones where she didn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. We'll have to find out. Hopefully we'll we'll figure it out from his flashbacks. Hopefully. <gasps> how cool would it be to see how they met and all that jazz? I hope so. I'm guessing it's... It got implied, I feel like, with the doodle, the drawing. Yeah. Because they looked like Hunter and possibly his sister or something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll have to wait and see. The plot thickens! But yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are and you want to check it out yourself, which I do highly recommend, there's a link in the description below. Check it out. It's great. Love it. What if You'll we're love it too. With two yonderies in love. <laughs> that'd be kind of would that be kind of sweet? That'd be kind of sweet, right? <laughs> in a twist, it's a, it wouldn't be healthy, but it would be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna worry about it yet. But uh, yeah, check it out. It's a great game. 10 out of 10, do recommend. If you yourself have theories or maybe even future recommendations for games, feel free to drop it down in the comments below. Or you can always come and visit Dustin and I live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We don't stream this specific game. We stream other ones. If you're curious about that, you could always go to, uh, well, I guess you're on our YouTube channel where we upload all the VODs so you can see like what days you want to come or what games we're currently working on while we stream. But chat is always open so feel free to drop in, say hi, talk games, even if it's not about the game that we would be currently playing. Yes, makes sense. Yeah. Yes. Um, otherwise, feel free to just comment down below. Like I said, stay on YouTube, check out the other games we have available. If this is your jazz, um, Anne is very similar, Crow Scare is very similar, um, Aria Story is pretty similar. Yeah, we got Midnight a couple Train. different games that might be up your alley as well, so check those out. Those are my recommendations. I keep feeling like I'm missing Me one. Me too, that's why I was thinking. But if, like, mystery... Blackout Hospital. Puzzly. Oh, yeah, I guess. Games is your your jam. Those are the ones that I would recommend you check out. But, obviously, if you want to check out any of the games, you can always go to our you Wait, no. Our TikTok, our YouTube shorts, and our Instagram reels. My brain. Anyway, I think that's it. Yeah. Sweet. Like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you feel like doing. We will appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.